Huh? Hello, Eric. Um, how do you feel about that? You seem in a strong position and then you have won the game. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, before I would be happy with the point. And but when you see first half, although I don't think we played that brilliant, uh, but we had completely control. Uh, we had the overload in the midfield. We used it very well. Uh, especially when we switched from the right to the left. We used that overload, we scored uh, both both goals, but when you are, be honest, just before we make 2-0, they had a big chance to score 1-1. And also before that, over our right side, we conceded some counters uh, and we were not good in positioning. And so also, also already before halftime, we were playing not that well. But after halftime, there was a difference. We lose the control because... Yeah, we were not ball secure. And then you have to go into the fight. And when you yeah, lose your battles, when you don't block the crosses, when you don't squeeze out, when you don't block shots, yeah, you concede goals and that's what happened. So then yeah, you can be, uh, finally, you have to be satisfied and take that point. All right, is the second half maybe a culmination of so many domestic cup games and European matches or... Is that maybe more of an excuse? As you said, you've had a very busy schedule. Oh, we have. We have the worst schedule also in in the Premier League, and that would will not change. Also, not the coming period. So we have to take that, but that cannot be an excuse. And the time is enough to recover. So our players are in demand to be ready. And today we were not ready. Uh, some thought ninety uh, percent is enough. But we lose focus. That's the way why we gave balls away, and we didn't our jobs in positioning, and then you concede goals, and that was in both co uh, goals was the case. And but more, <laughs> you lose control of the game. What was the thinking behind your substitutions? Because Christian seems to be playing quite well, and Marcus had some joy in playing up front. Oh yeah, he did well. But if you have seen the game, you see also in the period after half time that we lose the control. Uh, in the game and uh, I prepared the subs uh, and already before the 2-1 and you could see that goal coming and then you bring with threat you bring energy one who can win a ball <laughs> for instance on Sunday he was brilliant in that fact and you bring with uh, Martial one uh, who can keep a ball keep a ball up and then uh, can Ressi and Anthony and Bruno make his runs behind and that was the idea when, when you were in control, you were passing the ball so quickly, great tempo, and that seemed to disappear in the second half. Is that tempo essential to, to the way you play well? I think it has to do with, uh, with awareness and with where's the, where's the free men. And before half time, we had. Um, uh, overload in the midfield and we used that very well and especially the switches from right to left uh, I think um, Spurs had uh, huge problems with that and I think also we scored the goals uh, both uh, from a pass from the right to the left um, after half time it was different because we couldn't keep the ball and then you lose control Defense again, have to make sure that it's, it's, it's in the centre back. How, how did you feel that the defence did as a whole? And, and do you feel that as the game wore on, it became more difficult for them? Yeah, when you give too often the balls away, then they have more um, uh, more part in the game on the ball, uh, in possession. Yeah, then they get more tested in that part. And um, so, yeah, that was that was definitely the case. But uh, it was not great how they um, the support on them and um, then it's got more difficult but I think all over I think they did again a good job Will that be your defence going forward with Harry being injured? Oh we um, uh, we have to look from game to game and uh, now we have to focus on, on Villa and see what's the best against Villa uh, but we don't have so many uh, options in that positions uh, uh, already uh, a left fullback like Luke is doing great now as a left centre back. Uh, last question. Eric, when you talk about players giving 90%, is that in terms of effort, commitment, focus? Because that seems like quite a basic requirement to give 100%. <laughs> yeah, it, it has to be. And 
you have to bring it every time. Oh, although I know uh, they are not robots, and it's a tough shadow, uh, but it can't be. Uh, uh, we can't accept. And when you are a player for Man United, when you play uh, wearing this shirt, uh, you have to give it. Uh, on every occasion, in every game, uh, and as a team, you have to manage the game, get the win, and then is everyone happy and satisfied, and we will uh, forget everything. But the base is always you give everything, and that has you have to prepare as a player um, that you are ready for the game, for the battle, for the fight. Okay, we're now going to move on to our pre-match press conference. <laughs> 